importance of surrogate families, action and consequence, economic-based prejudice, and senselessness of violence are the powerful themes in The Outsiders. The Greaser gang serves as a surrogate family for one another, especially since they all have non-standard families of origin. Broken families, alcoholism, poverty, and various forms of dysfunction pervade their home lives, forcing them to rely on each other in the absence of familial love or support from their biological relatives. Ponyboy has lost both parents, yet he has a loving relationship with his brothers. Johnny has both parents, but neither pay him any attention beyond scapegoating him. The gang gives Johnny the love he craves, the love his biological parents withhold from him. Action and consequence is a major theme in The Outsiders. Every action, every decision has consequences, whether those consequences are intended or accidental. For example, when Ponyboy and Johnny flee the scene of Bob's murder, Ponyboy does not think at all about the possibility of being split apart from his brothers as a consequence. When he and Ponyboy run into a burning building to save school children, neither of them stop to consider the possible deadly consequences. And Johnny's death has drastic negative consequences for Dally. Losing the one person in the world that Dally loved best triggers an overwhelming avalanche of raw emotion that overpowers Dally, extinguishing his desire to live. Economic-based prejudice manifests itself in the differences between the wealthy socias and the underprivileged greasers in appearance, opportunities, and attitude. The socias dress well and have money. The impoverished greasers? Ponyboy says they're pretty decent guys underneath all that grease. Ponyboy eventually comes to believe that people are people, more alike than not, at their core. When one Soch holds Ponyboy's head under the water at the fountain, he doesn't care that he's drowning another human being, as if Ponyboy is somehow less deserving of breathing the same air as the Soches because he lacks their economic advantages. There's no basis for the Soches' intense hatred of the greasers other than lack of material wealth and the social standing that accompanies monetary gain. The greasers view their world as tough, unfair, and without anything worthwhile to pursue. They don't formulate goals beyond high school. Meanwhile, the socialists take for granted that they're headed for college and a lucrative career after that. Finally, though Ponyboy participates in the rumble, he realizes the senselessness of violence won't solve the class warfare between the greasers and the socialists. The greasers will still be poor and shut out of opportunities, while the socialists will continue to enjoy the many advantages of their wealth and social prestige, which no amount of fighting can take away from them. But the most blatant example of the senselessness of violence is the death of Dally Winston, a 17-year-old who could only vent his feelings through fighting and crime. Dally's entire life, filled with violence and aggression, in and out of jail since the age of 10, prepares him for his untimely death. 